Happy Father's Day, YouTube. Today, this video is being brought to you by the power of the primes, some Detroit love, and some soil and terror. YouTube is Magnus. Yes, today I'm adding to the one-up arcade Raspberry Pi knowledge base for modding with the Gen 3 cabinets. This is not a full tutorial. If you want that, ETA Prime and Detroit Love, they got your back. This is like one for all. I'm adding to it, I'm crafting it, and I'm passing it on. Okay, we're gonna start in the back here. Uh, Prime Cut and I mounted our amps on top. Um, you can reuse the plastic switch grommets if you're not going to reuse the switches on the control panel. Uh, you see there that is a power switch that I added to the top of the cabinet. That way this makes it a little more convenient and you can turn the unit on and off on top. Um, and this makes it a little cleaner without having to unplug the unit um, like you have to do uh, without this. Okay guys, here's my 2x4 I mounted to lay the LCD controller on and sticky tape it to. Uh, guys, you can move this ground down lower on the Gen 3 cabinets. Uh, helps you with the cable being so short. It's way shorter than the Street Fighter cabinets. Um, also, my Raspberry Pi is laying down in the bottom of the cabinet. Uh, ETA Prime Detroit Love. They mounted theirs on the side with sticky tape. I even think Prime Cut mounted, mounted his on the side with sticky tape also. Um, my case I use for my Raspberry Pi has a fan and the top comes off. So I had to lay mine flat just to make sure my top doesn't try to come off. Okay, guys, you can reuse the one-up arcade extension cord that they give you for their power adapter. If you're going to mount your amp on top because the amp power cord was going to be too short to reach the bottom of the cabinet okay guys you can swap the one of arcade mounting plates onto the button kit joysticks it takes the guesswork out of centering and drilling holes just swap the plates um, when you do this though make sure you use whatever kit you bought the hardware for the joist for that joystick when you're putting the one up arcade uh, joystick plates on. See, that's the one up arcade without the plate. I've already got it put on the kit um, joystick. Here is my completed control panel with the one up arcade joystick plate swap. Okay, install external USB ports. Prime Cut did this. This is ingenious. I did it in mine. Makes it easy. So, you to keep going in and out the back side of the cabinet keyboards and jump drives you're gonna have to use it make it easy on yourself okay here's my top mounted power switch gonna power it on for you guys did you see um i have extension cords uh running from the power strip in the cabinet to this switch from this switch down into the wall like i said this makes it real convenient i'm gonna put links for everything i use on this bill in the description but like i said just just a little s small mod to help make this uh, a little easier and make it a little cleaner. Okay, I did a torture test with the uh, LCD controller that I used for this build. I plugged in the Xbox One and played Tekken on it. Uh, these monitors are really nice, really crisp and clean image that they give you. Here's my control panel. I replaced the power switch and volume with the select buttons. This Quaker light up arcade kit is awesome okay guys if you want to make this a simple plug and play install kind of how eta prime did with the pandora go on st.com search retro game united states and tino can make and send you a micro sd card with retro pie and roms on it ready to go um he's awesome communicates well can even customize intros and splash screens for you if you want go ahead and make a copy of the sd card once you receive it also go ahead and format you a usb stick just in case you do want to add roms later on uh, if there are any you don't see on the image on the card um, here's the back of my unit with the panel on the cord sticking out looks like factory 
Okay, guys, if you're done modding and you want to customize your unit even further, um, Swelling Terror is a YouTuber. He goes in depth about a website called uh, buildassign.com. I'm going to link his video in the description, but you can get custom stickers and decals, pretty much anything you want um, made, and these people will make it for you and send it to you. And it's pretty cheap, too. Um, all right, guys, that's all I got for you today. Uh, I'm Magnus. Um, COVID-19 is still a threat, guys. People have gotten lax. They don't think it's a big deal, but it still is. Um, please be safe out there. Um, be Use common sense. Be self-conscious. Um, once again, like I said, I'm Magnus. I love y'all. Happy Father's Day. I'm out. Peace. Peace.